morning. So in this video, we are going to see about the detailed recruitment process of Qualcomm. A lot of people is actually interested into these core companies like Qualcomm, Intel, etc. Especially for electronics. So we are going to see uh, about the recruitment process of Qualcomm in this video. We will be seeing about a brief uh, of this Qualcomm as a company, their services. And also we will be seeing about where are the branches of Qualcomm present in India. Okay. So let us see about the recruitment process and about the company. Okay. So Qualcomm is actually an American based MNC and its headquarters is in California. So it is actually, uh, that is this company is actually focusing on wireless technology and its development and the services associated with it. That is, it is creating intellectual property, semiconductors, softwares and services, mainly focusing on the wireless technology. It is also owning patent for CDMA 2000, TD, SCDMA, WCDMA. These are actually various mobile communication standards. So this company is actually owning the patent of these wireless standards. And besides that, the company is mainly focusing on various technologies like 3G, 4G, and now it is focusing mainly or rising towards 5G. So these are actually certain inventions by this company. Okay. So if you are interested in uh, working in Qualcomm or if you are going to give an interview in this company, you should be having an idea about these fields because the interview questions may be connected to this wireless communication or the related areas. Okay. So that's why I try to give an uh, introduction. Okay. Next, let us see where all are the branches of this company in India. So there are mainly four cities in which the branches of Qualcomm are present in India that are in Bangalore. There are two locations in Bangalore, that is two branches are present in Bangalore. Then Hyderabad again two branches are there. For Noida city that is there again there is two branches and also there is a branch in Chennai. So these are the various cities in which Qualcomm branches are present. Okay, so you should be knowing about these things also if you are interested in giving an interview for off campus or on campus drive or any other interviews. Okay, now let us see what is the the selection process there is a recruitment process for on campus and off campus drives okay so this is actually for fresher people if you are an experienced person then you will be probably giving interview only okay there is there won't be examination or online test for an experienced person okay now let us see the recruitment process for on campus and off campus drives so before seeing the recruitment process in details you should be knowing that this company is mainly focusing on hiring of electronics and computer science brands, even though there is scope for other branches also, but mainly they are focusing on electronics brands because it is actually a wireless services and uh, product oriented company. It is mainly focusing on the electronics brands and also IT and computer science brands also have scope in this company mainly. Okay. And also before appearing uh, for this interview or drives, you should be knowing that you should be having a CGPA or percentage above 60 or if it's in CGPA it should be about 6 okay and also there should not be any backlogs while you are attending the trial okay so these two things you should be knowing next is the selection process step by step first one is the resume screening then screening test that is there will be an online test for screening of uh, the applicants then there will be technical interviews there can be multiple level of technical interviews and then the last stage is HR interview. Okay, so these are the various stages of selection or the recruitment process. So first one is the resume screening. That is, you have to apply on the website uh, in the career page. You'll be uh, seeing the uh, drives or all. So you have to apply by uploading your resume. They'll be doing a resume screening. Or if it is an on-campus try, sometimes you have to submit your resume in hard copy. Anyway, there will be a resume screening. After that, the resume screening only they will be conducting the written examination written examination most probably it will be online examination only so that is the second stage of selection process and for the online examination or for the test you have to study the topics from quantitative aptitude that is a generic area then again some programming basics and also your core subject basics okay mainly they will be asking questions from computer science and electronics Okay, so from first one is the quantitative aptitude. You have to study the areas like time, speed, distance, ratio and proportion, percentage, profit and loss, seating arrangement, etc. These type of questions you can actually face in this 
uh, quantitative aptitude area okay then there is some programming related questions also you should be knowing the syntax of programs because some pseudo codes will be given to you and you will be asked to correct the errors what what is missing or what are the errors these type of questions will be there questions from algorithms oops concept that is object oriented programming concept ms dot and also some code snippets will be given to you and you have to pick the correct output from the option these type of questions are very important okay and also there will be questions from c c++ and some basic progr programming questions also okay so these things should be familiar to all the people who was appearing for the written examination okay next is there will be questions from the subjects like computer science and electronics and for the computer science candidates you have to study the topics of coding languages loops if statement basic syntax then for the electronics students you have to study the areas like digital electronics microprocessors and cmos so my suggestion is that if you are preparing for this examination or if you are going to attend the drive of this qualcom you should have an idea of both these areas there is computer science these basic areas and also for for the electronics both people should be preparing both the areas because this is actually common thing which both the branches are actually studying computer science and electronics both are having some common items so those things you have to actually prepare okay so these are the syllabus for your examination there is a online examination which you have to attend and that is the second stage of selection then there is a third stage which is called technical interview there will be more than one level of technical interview can be there or sometimes there will be only one level of technical interview okay anyway you will be given some questions for coding that is uh, some questions connected with linked list or some uh, programming questions will be given to you sorting search questions or arrangement of numbers so these type of questions you have to prepare for your technical interview and also some questions will be asked you okay so you have to prepare for coding related questions and technical area for clearing the technical route then after that there will be hr interview okay so hr interview is actually uh, asking your personal details and you are interested in joining the company so in that time also you should be having an idea about this company you should be knowing that what are their products and what are their services because the interviewer will be interested in asking whether you are knowing about the company whether you are truly interested in joining the company or not so for that purpose they will be asking about the qualcom itself okay so you should be knowing about the basics so these are the things which you have to keep in mind if you are going to attend the interview or attend the drive of qualcom okay so these are the various stages of selection so this video is mainly focusing on those people who are interested in joining the core companies so uh, mostly the selection process will be almost same for all the companies there will be initial test there will be technical interviews and then there will be hr interviews this will be the selection process if you are a fresher for the case of experienced people as i have told uh, in the beginning there won't be a test but the other stages will be same okay so this is the selection process of the recruitment process for qualcom so if you are interested in joining the qualcom you should be knowing all these procedures you should be having a basic idea of the company also okay so i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up please do share it with all your friends who is belonging to electronics and computer science branch and also it and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching